Hello, this is Dr. David A. Gatros, Department of Computer Science at Florida State University, and I'd like to welcome you to my undergraduate lecture series on selected topics in computer science. You can find these videos and others at my YouTube channel at the URL listed below, or you can simply go to YouTube and search using Gatros and FSU as keywords. Now on to the lecture. This is the introduction to basic if statements in C++ and uh, very very simple if statements just as a as an introduction here. So we're going to uh, modify our basic program and uh, we're going to declare a variable and we're going to say int int we'll say score okay, and we'll initialize it to zero. <clears throat> then we're going to uh, output a message say see out uh, please uh, please enter in a score and we'll leave that uh, just on the same line so the input comes in on the same line that this message is we'll say CN score we'll read it in and then we're going to ask a question we're going to say if okay score is greater than 100 we're going to output a message. I'm going to hit return and see out. Very good. Now, the basic if statement looks like this. It's got the word if, and then in parentheses we have what's called a Boolean expression. And this Boolean expression is something that can be evaluated to true or false. In this case, we're asking the question, is it greater than 100? That means any number 101 or larger will actually turn this to true. If we said greater than or equal, it would be 100 or greater, include 100. Now let me just show you hit all the operators. Uh, we can say if the score is equal to, we can say if the score is greater than, we can say less than, we can say less than or equal to, we can say not equal. So we're just going to say greater than score is very good. We will build this. Okay, and then we will run it. Run assignment 1, and then we will input the score. We'll say 101, and it says ah, 101. Very good. Okay, printed it out. <coughs> okay, now then let's go ahead and uh, let's uh, modify this a little. Well, let's run it again. Let's do the opposite. Let's say we'll enter in a score that is uh, 99. It's less than. And you'll notice it just prints out the number and uh, and uh, continues on. All right. Um, well, let's go ahead and modify this a little bit to ask a couple of questions. All right. So we're going to ask if this is greater than 100. It's very good else and again every else must have a corresponding if else we'll say see out not so good and L. okay okay we will build this called project and we will run and we're going to enter in uh, 99 which says ah 99 not so not so very good at all. Okay. Um, now, this is an example of very, very simple if statements. I want to point out something uh, on this particular video. <clears throat> it's a very simple Boolean expression. And we're only asking one question, not multiple questions. Uh, but we're also only doing one statement after the if and one statement after the else. If you wanted to do multiple statements, so let's say we wanted to do a couple things. Let's say we wanted to print out very good um, say see out Carter all right now I, I'm going to get an error right here and you'll notice the little squiggly um, uh, underscore red underscore thing right there uh, it doesn't like this, and that is because there are multiple statements after the if and before the else. If I want to do multiple statements, what I have to do is I have to surround those multiple statements with what's called a begin-end block. 
which is essentially just a begin in bracket. So it's a left curly bracket and I put one there and I'm going to take it off and I'm going to put the other one right here. Alright, very good. Uh, undo likewise with the else statements, the same thing. You can put a bracket right there, take it off, and put another one right here. So I can actually um, put another statement right there. See how it said, you need to try harder. Okay, so we're good. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and build this and run it. And we'll try the true statement. So we want something greater than 100, which would be 101. And it says, ah, 101. Very good. No need to try harder. Let's run it again. And let's put uh, 99. Oops. Put 99. Ah, not so good. You need to try harder. This is a very, very short explanation of if statements. What um, I would like you to do is to um, uh, see if you can replicate this. It's important that you get used to uh, writing in if statements and uh, matching up the corresponding else statements with that if. Uh, on, on the next video, we're going to try a slightly more complex uh, uh, if statements. We're actually going to uh, incorporate the nested if statements. I uh, hope this helps you out. Look forward to doing the next one.